Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would tell you guys all the things that I'm looking to buy from Celine. Anytime I've mentioned Celine in a video, a couple of you guys in my previous videos have asked me other Celine items that I would like to buy or I'm looking to get other than bags because if some of you guys don't really want to get a bag right away, you kind of want to build up to it. So maybe a pair of shoes or maybe a belt and stuff like that. So here is my Celine wish list. So here we have the Celine pulled up. So I'm going to start kind of with like accessories and then just build up and then the last things would be bags. So the first thing is actually jewelry. Obviously, I love fine I prefer fine jewelry over custom jewelry. However, I don't know if you guys know this. I don't know if I made this up, but I know like 5 6 years ago plus uh, one of the signature kind of costume jewelry pieces from Celine, like for example, the Chanel signature is the CC earrings. One of the Celine, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like classic Celine costume jewelry was the alphabet necklace. I don't know why this is famous. If one of you guys know, let me know in the comments. I mean, it's a little bit expensive because a part of me would rather get like gold diamond earrings from a jury or like, I don't know, something that's like $400 that's like actual gold. But there's something about this that I really want. And of course, since my name starts with an M, I would love to get it in an M just to have something like this isn't on the top of my wish list, but I do do eventually want to get something like this so it's 475 dollars which is pretty standard i feel like just for any kind of luxury designer costume drawing i just love that it's personalized you don't really know that it's celine it's just kind of like it's not an if you know you know it's just if you're a diehard celine fan i feel like something to get is their alphabet necklace it's just i don't know who told me this but it was just forever ingrained in my brain so they have it obviously in every single letter imaginable they have a bracelet as well but yeah so that's uh the first item that i would love to get so i'm going to kind of mix recommendations and wish list so a recommendation for an alternative accessory i'm not into belts as in i just don't wear belts i don't look good in belts but i think so many people look good in belts and obviously you guys know that gucci marmont belt was so big at one point and right now that celine triumph belt is really it's just making a comeback so let me find the one that everyone gets i think it's this one yes this black one with the triumph logo in the center i feel like so many people have this especially if you live in london so many just english youtubers that i follow that live in london every single person has this celine triumph belt belt and I just think it's so classic, so subtle. I feel like this is more subtle than kind of like the Hermes belt, which just has the really big, bold H in front of it. This is like just very subtle and small. I think this is super cute. They have this in different colors as well. I know that they have this available in, let's see, even a smaller size. So it's called the Teen Triumph belt, which I think if I were to pick one, I would get the teen size just because it's smaller. Price point, I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's pretty expensive, but I feel like designer belts in general are kind of expensive. And this is leather, whereas, for example, I think the Louis Vuitton belts, like the really kind of, I don't wanna say tacky, but I'm just gonna use the word tacky. Those ones are canvas, I believe. I'm Again, I'm not really a belt person. When I wear pants, they, they fit snug. And I don't have enough fashion sense to accessorize my outfits. But if I were that girl, then I would get a belt and it would be the Celine belt because anytime I see like reels of people doing outfits and they have the Celine belt I feel like it just like makes the outfit alrighty so back to my own wish list so still going on accessories kind of is perfume one of the girls best accessories is perfume if you are not into perfume I highly 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 get into it so I actually recently bought this one so i'm still adding this into this video just so you guys know but i did already purchase this so this is the celine parade perfume for their regular size bottle i believe yes so i got just the regular size bottle so it was 255 dollars the notes on this i'm really not good at defining notes so there's bergamot neroli and musk and oak mosque so the thing that really drew me to this scent is it's a very fresh 
scent i'm gonna link this uh perfume youtuber guy that i follow and he has a video all about his favorite celine scents i feel like he's way better at describing it than me but i'm very into fresh and citrusy scents i don't really like warm scents on me personally i think it's just too heavy it's a little too much and this one is very very soft so one thing that i learned about just celine scents in general is that they're very subtle you have to like really get into somebody to smell it like you can't smell it on me a mile away of course if i spray it like crazy then you can do that with any perfume but i just love the bottle the presentation on this is just absolutely stunning and let me just show you guys a couple other perfumes as well lisa's favorite perfume scent at least she said it in this magazine is the california one i smelled the california one in person and it was a little too nicotine -y. it was very smoky it was just too smoky for my liking because when i read california i would think kind of like fresh beach scents no the california one let me see if i can pull it up i just love the aesthetics of the bottle it's just so so nice yeah so the california one um has like palo santo yeah it's very woody and smoky again i'm not good at describing scents and like this one you can even tell like the bottle is very dark but yeah i mean like if lisa likes it i wanted to like it but it just it wasn't it wasn't for me i know the black tie one is very popular as well the saint germain one and then because i was looking up a lot of reviews before i actually decided on purchasing it because it is my first kind of designer perfume Alrighty, so the next in terms of the accessory was hats so i have been looking at a couple hats um let me just look up hats so i was debating between bucket hat like a bucket hat a baseball hat and a beanie so see this blue one right over here i was i was really debating on this one but lisa had the c logo on it that was blue which i thought was way more subtle and i just loved i feel like navy blue just looks good on everybody but that was from a previous season i think it was either from last year yeah it was from last year i even have the magazine cover where she's wearing it as well it's not available anymore it is 475 dollars i even tried on this style in the black one as well this one i tried on in store and i just i feel like for me baseball caps and dad caps if you guys don't really know the difference i don't know the technical difference but dad caps kind of fit better on the head whereas baseball caps are a lot more rounded and i don't know i feel like i have a really big forehead so it kind of made my head look bigger and dad caps just look better on my head this was a top contender for me just because i've seen lisa wear this like black one a lot so it basically looks like this pink one except it's blue I mean the pink is really cute it's just I, it's pink one my foundation would get all over it and on top of that too i just i feel like i couldn't really match it with as many things so the hats range from 475 dollars to like 500 and up which i mean it makes sense it's a designer cap and then they did have this corduroy one that i actually thought was really cute they didn't have this one in store when i went unfortunately and it was just kind of one of those days that you wanted to leave with something and i was going to leave with something but the store didn't have that one i also was actually looking into their bucket hats i couldn't decide there there was which one I, I really like the nylon one and then this cotton bucket hat I actually thought was really cute because it was giving me if you guys have seen uh, the what was it was it shutdown or pink venom but i'll put a clip lisa had like the white one with the black print but obviously the top was cut off and i just i love that aesthetic so much and i've actually been wanting a bucket hat i initially wanted the christian dior bucket hat with the oblique that everybody had like three years ago like three four years ago that one was like hot 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 and then the prada one my mom has a prada one so i didn't want to buy another one um i've seen all of these other hats like the triumph ones in store already and then when we were talking about beanies because i really liked baseball caps but bucket cap bucket hats and then the beanies i actually really like this black and white beanie as well but because it's so short if you can see it in the photo it's very very short i feel like it would just i don't know i don't feel like it would look good on my head i needed to have a little bit more length on the top of it however i know lisa loves her black and white beanie but i believe her beanie is from last year's collection like fall 21 i think as well because i looked it up and that's what the internet said but she always wears her black and white beanie i was debating on the gray one as well was really cute and then this olive green one i actually do own already i did buy this at the same time as i bought my perfume what made me get the olive one was just one i love the color olive but it was really the length that got it for me 
I just I feel like the longer it is it's kind of more snug on me I don't know when it's just really short I feel like it just doesn't ratio well with my head but they do have a lot of options but the gray one I was also debating between the gray one the gray one was really really cute if any of you guys own a beanie let me know if you guys have the black and white one and then they even had this like triumph logo beanie this one was also really cute too it sucks too because I was wearing makeup when I went into the Celine store and it's like you can't really try on beanies because I don't want to get foundation on it because they can't really take that out but this one was also actually a contender as well so the next thing is going to be shoes so there's two pairs of shoes that I actually do want Celine I've never been into designer shoes I remember I made a video about things that I wouldn't want to buy or like the least things that I would like to buy and designer shoes was definitely on that list so the boots that I want did get a price increase that's very very tragic I'm going to put the prices that it used to be and the prices that it is now but it is these Margaret Chelsea boots I saw these for the first time in store probably it was during the pandemic for sure when I went into Celine I think it was when I was getting my Boston bag I don't know but I, I did I've seen these and these have been on my radar for a long time and I really want a pair of Chelsea boots my favorite thing about this is the strap bits on the front have the triumph symbol and it's a Celine on it's like subtle but it's there at the same time yeah i just oh look how cute that is i'm just utterly obsessed and i feel like these are a very timeless shoe chelsea boots people have been wearing chelsea boots since i was in honestly like senior year in high school all the way to now so that was like what like 12, 11 12 years ago and they also have this in the shiny uh calfskin too the shiny bowl leather i guess i would get the other one um oh also a detail on this one is that the tabs on this actually are in white whereas the other one it's kind of like a yellow color as well the other pair of boots that i am interested in but i do need to try on it is the celine bulky lace-up boot in the shiny bowl color it has the same kind of little tabs on the side with the triumph which i really really like and then you can see the triumph logo on the side as well i have seen these in store but i have yet to try these on so these are the two shoes that i would love love to have from celine oh this one is actually a contender really quick also i think i just need to try it on so this one the celine bulky lace the boot in nylon and shiny bowl it's a hundred dollars cheaper and i mean the aesthetics is very similar except the triumph is kind of more popped on the side and these ones do say celine on the back which i actually think is really really cute but i the only downside is because these are nylon i feel like I wouldn't be able to just use these everywhere whereas if the shoe is full leather even if it was Celine like a boot is still a boot you know what I mean I would wear it in the rain like I wouldn't care whereas if it's nylon I would be more hesitant to wear it wherever whenever because nylon if you get like a water stain or something like that it just it won't survive that but yeah super super cute Alrighty, so the last two things that I want from Celine, actually one really quick, another accessory, sorry, really quick, uh, is actually a wallet. I actually do want to add a wallet. You guys know me. If you guys are on that train where one wallet is enough for you, I high five you for that, but I am addicted to just collecting things because I'm a hoarder, okay? So I actually do want to get this wallet this one is in particular the reason why i've been lagging on this is because i haven't decided if i want to get it in triumph canvas or if i want to get it in leather i'm leaning towards the leather ones but i just love the tab on this i have seen this in person i was actually going to buy this exact wallet when i purchased my boston bag so what in 2020 but i didn't end up getting it just because they didn't have the size that i wanted and then i ended up getting another wallet i believe a lot of japanese youtubers that i follow they actually have this exact celine wallet except they have it in the leather version let me pull it up for you so for example it looks like this i just love how snug and compact it is so this is the smaller one and then if i were to get one i think i would love to get it in the medium size just because i have a lot of small wallets already but this one's really pretty as well they have a lot of different colors this one i've been seeing for a while um, I like it, but I would rather have this be all gray. So if I were to get a Celine wallet, it would get this. I want Celine to add a passport holder. I feel like that would be really nice. Alrighty, so the last major things that I want from Celine is obviously bags. So first, I really want to get 
a triumph shoulder bag i've mentioned this in so many videos before they have it in a lot of variations they have it with the shiny calf skin which is the one that i'm leaning towards but they also have it in the triumph canvas initially i was really set on getting it in this calf skin color because i was never able to get the ava bag in this tan color and i just feel like it looks so good against the gold i have tried on this bag in store and it just oh it looks so good over the shoulder so so good over the shoulder it is a bit pricey 29.50 but it is all leather we do have to remember that i know lisa in so many of her ads she has the chain one that is available as well they have this yellow one. Oh my gosh this yellow one is so pretty it's giving me do you guys remember when i uh went to dior and they had that perfect pastel yellow this is literally a rebirth of that oh if you guys know me i've been searching for the perfect yellow bag and of course this one sold out because it's beautiful it's gorgeous okay Alrighty, so the final thing that i want from celine you guys know what it is it is the mini 16 in the satinated calfskin in black this well first of all they just had a price increase so it used to be 3200 and now it's 3300 which you know a hundred dollars is a hundred dollars that's a lot <laughs> yeah so this is the one that lisa probably that i've seen the most that she carries i mean initially obviously i just love everything that lisa has you guys know me i am a follower because no originality whatsoever okay you guys know that i've been debating between the black one and then the one with the canvas as well i did try both of them on and i actually initially was leaning towards the brown with the canvas but then when i actually put it against my body i just i don't dress fashiony enough to make that work work it has it gives me hermes her bag vibes like i mentioned before and the black one just looks so good on me like it just looks so good against the way that i dress because this is it looks really kind of upscale but at the same time like i the way that i dressed and i wore this bag it actually worked casually when you see lisa use this bag a lot of the time she's actually dressing extremely casual she's going to the airport and it just it just looks amazing on her the actual size of this bag actually does fit a good amount i feel like this could bag could probably fit more than an alma bb does but yes i just love everything about this bag it's just when you see it in person as opposed to pictures because pictures you can't really see how tiny this bag is and i don't mean tiny in the it can't fit anything way as in just the aesthetics of the bag because the larger size i'm actually not a fan of just the regular 16 but the tiny one oh it just looks so good i 10 out of 10 recommend if any of you guys hate this bag go in person and look at it and try it on and then tell me if you guys actually hate it but they actually did come out with this one in a yellow one which i thought was stunning i mean i wouldn't get the yellow one like just because with the mini 16 i want this to be one of my kind of everyday bags so i'm leaning towards a more neutral color which i am going to get a black one however i just recently figured out that they have this color in white as well and then this japanese girl that i follow on youtube as well she got this for her 30th birthday and the white looks stunning i actually don't have a stark white bag in my collection yet uh the closest thing i would have would be my fendi baguette in the cream color but i actually do eventually want to add a white bag but the white one looks really nice i definitely want to try this one on as well i need to ask my sa if she has the white one in store but yes alrighty guys we have come to the end of today's video you guys know me i'm on this huge celine and Lueve high if you guys would be interested in a Lueve video let me know too Lueve actually has a lot of ready to wear that i would love celine more i mean their basics are really cute i feel like celine guy clothes are more up my alley i mean not to wear but to look at like they have really nice like silk button downs and stuff like that but anyways let me know in the comments what your guys' top three celine wishlist items are whether they're accessories or bags or whatever or even perfume if you guys actually have a favorite celine like go-to perfume please let me know down there in the comments i would love love to know i'm trying to get into more designer perfume i feel like it's really fun the hermes twilly perfume actually smells really good too but yes if you guys enjoyed this video as always please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys